want to do a couple of quick thank yous. First to the Marshall Fairgrounds for hosting us today. Thank you very much. Our friends from the Marshfield Fire Department for displaying the American flag for us when we called and asked them to do so. And I'd like to give a thank you to all the staff and administration and team that has put this together and volunteering here today, so thank you to all of them as well. I do you remind you that this is a non-smoking venue, so save those celebratory cigars for when you get home later, please. All right. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Jeremy Driscoll, the Vice President of the Class of 2020, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the National Anthem. Jeremy will be studying computer science and continuing his stellar wrestling career in the cadet program at Norwich University in the fall. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeremy Driscoll. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Could I have everyone please stand for the playing of the national anthem? It gives me great pleasure at this time to introduce the man who was responsible for this day. You won't know the number of hours and phone calls and meetings he had to do to go through to put this event together, but a lot of this is directly due to him. Your Superintendent Director, Dr. Thomas J. Hickey. If you enjoy this event, you're welcome. Any complaints, see Mr. Aubrey. Good morning, graduates, class of 2020. I also want to echo my thanks for the Marshfield Fairgrounds, for everyone in Marshfield Town Government who really helped make this work very smoothly, as well as the production crew here. We wanted to give you an event that you'd remember after such an eventful end to your senior year. It is wonderful to be together today in the same time and place after spending so much time apart. And after all we've gone through, you also adjusted to a new graduation location, but we made it happen. Graduates, allow me to offer a big thank you to your parents and families, those who are here, and those who will be sending you some socially distanced love from elsewhere. Families, this year more than any other in recent memory, you have been partners in educating your children up to the very last day of school. Parents, when you look at your children in the car today in a flash, I. I know you're probably recalling so many important milestones. The first day of kindergarten, the missing front teeth, the middle school dances, the decision to come to South Shore, and now graduation day. I know it's an overwhelming day of pride for your families and an important accomplishment for you. And if there is any year to celebrate the importance of supporting one another, 
it's this year. It seems like every day we are reminded that communities, large and small, are a source of essential support and that a community is not limited by a neighborhood or a zip code. Our school, whether in school, together, or remote, remains a community, one that has been enriched by the class of 2020 for the past four years. And within this school community, we have smaller communities, such as our shops, and our classes, and teams, and clubs. And I know you have such fond memories about being part of one or more of those communities. As a graduating class, you've learned so much about yourselves and your capabilities. As our entire educational model was tipped on its head, you adjusted accordingly. You know, prior to this pandemic, I would have thought that the most significant adjustment story to mark this school year was when our football team was down 30 to nothing at halftime and came back to win 42-36 in double overtime. That, that story never gets old. But there's a lesson here because the team supported one another. They were strengthened by the cheers of the fans at that game who never gave up. And despite what the scoreboard displayed, they handled the adversity, they made adjustments, and they fought slowly and steadily to victory. Our drama club performed something amazing as well. Despite having all of their stage performances of the play Clue scrapped because of the school closure, the students and advisors pulled together, they kept practicing remotely, they made those needed adjustments, and they took to Facebook Live to share their talents with the world. These high school stories from the stage and the gridiron mirror life's ups and downs. Today, we might all feel as though we are down 30 points, uneasy about the events of the day. We have probably felt that our stage is gone for your children and for our students, that they have no place to shine. But what our students and what your children have shown us is the importance of supporting one another and never giving up. These qualities were developed at home and strengthened here at school as a community. And I believe those qualities should continue to grow as you enter adulthood. So graduates, keep developing the habits of mind that this world needs. Be supportive, resilient, flexible, and focused. And as we prepare to hear from Ryan and Emily, I want to thank you all for being resilient sticking together, and supporting one another. Class of 2020, you are a graduating community for the ages. Thank you. Ryan Mahoney your class president, has woven herself into the very fabric of South Shore Technical Community. Ryan has been involved in many extracurricular activities, including Student Council, National Honor Society, Skills USA, and athletics. Ryan will be continuing her education in the nursing program at Quinnipiac University in the fall. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Mahoney. Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for coming and showing your support during such unprecedented times. I would first like to congratulate South Shore Votex graduating class of 2020. We're finally done. We've finally made it to the day that we've been anticipating for months. As you walk across the stage today, my hope is that it reflects all that these past four years have been, the good days and the bad, the happy memories and the trying moments. Four years ago, many of us began our journey at SSVT as strangers. Some of us always knew that this is where we belonged, and others realized it as the years went on. This was a place where we could find ourselves, where we were open to new opportunities and tried things that we would have never seen ourselves doing in our sending towns. This is where we've met our best friends and made lifelong relationships. We've been given an education unlike any other, and it's helped shape us into the people that we are today. Every trial and tribulation will live in the memories of what everyone tells us has been the best four years of our lives. First and foremost, the class of 2020 would like to thank Mr. Hickey, the staff, and the entire administrative team for doing their best to make this ceremony as normal as possible. 
Secondly, I would like to thank a few people who have certainly played a role in making our high school experience more enjoyable. Mr. Aubrey, since day one, you've been the smiling face <laughs> of Votech. From the very first day we pulled into that parking lot of scared little freshmen to our very last day back in March, you were always the first face that we saw in the morning wearing your fancy cowboy hat. <laughs> thank you for being so accessible and dedicated to our success. Colette. It pretty much goes without saying, you're an icon. Your door was always open to us. You were a friend, a supporter, and an extremely good listener. Whether we needed a Band-Aid, a Motrin, or a counseling session, you were always there with open arms. Thank you for being so patient. Amy Conley, AKA Big Dog. <laughs> You've been a friend to each and every one of us since your first day at SSVT two years ago. It is evident that you truly care about us, and for that, we can't thank you enough. You're a beast, and we're gonna miss you so much. Ms. Keith, I'm really hoping you kept your promise of coming to our graduation, because if not, this is pretty awkward. <laughs> thank you for brightening our days and for always reminding us that we're precious and valuable. Finally, thank you to all of our academic and shop teachers for bearing with us through blood, sweat, and spilled cups of iced coffee. Now, to the class of 2020, it is my sincere hope that as you move beyond high school into the next chapter of your lives, that you will look back at your four years at SSVT with gratitude and with pride. Whether it was a shop teacher who prepared you for your career, a coach who helped you perfect your game, an academic teacher who helped you master a subject, or a club that you belong to, I believe that there is some part of SSVT that will leave a lasting impression on you like it will on me. Personally, I know that I'll never forget those late nights spent watching the boys and girls basketball games with bleachers filled with their fans and ours. There's no doubt that the Vikings fans were definitely louder than the fans of our opponents. <laughs> Granted, we do have Bobby Fettig to thank for being our hype man and being at the forefront of some of the most unforgettable nights our gym has ever seen. Bobby, I really hope that your traditions continue on for many years to come. I hope that SSVT was a place that allowed you to truly find yourself and whoever you're meant to be. For me, I've known since the sixth grade that this is where I belonged. And as I entered this school four years ago, I was psyched to become a licensed cosmetologist. However, now I'm a certified nursing assistant heading off to nursing school. I'm sure many of us can relate when I say that we definitely didn't have our lives as figured out as we thought we did back in eighth grade. This place and these teachers have opened our minds and allowed us to dig a little deeper into ourselves to find who we are and who we're supposed to become. And for those of you who aren't there yet and who are still figuring out what your next chapter is gonna look like, I hope that being a Viking has brought you that much closer to your greatness. At only 14 years old, we were asked to choose a career path. And for the past four years, we were given the training, skills, and licensing that will carry us into the next chapter of our lives. A lot of us are ready to put our skills and knowledge to use through work or the military, while others might continue their education in college. Each and every one of us has worked extremely hard to get to where we are today. And unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we did not have the time or normality that we'd hoped for as we neared the end of our senior year. However, that does not change the amount of effort we've put in or the accomplishments and successes that we have achieved. This is where we've grown into smart, skilled, and professional young adults. As we end our journey at SSVT, we begin a new one. This is what has brought us to the doorstep of the rest of our lives. And we're ready for whatever will come next. As you receive your diplomas today and look back at them in the years to come, may it remind you of all that truly was some of the best years of our lives. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. It's a pleasure to introduce to you your student body president, who also happens to be the valedictorian for the class of 2020. Emily Ingram has attended virtually every event at South Shore for the past four years, including being a student voice on the school council and the student representative to the school committee. Emily will be attending Bridgewater State University in the fall 
majoring in business management and marketing. Ladies and gentlemen, Emory Ingram. Good morning, teachers, staff, administrators, families, and graduates. I am Emily Ingram, and I'm your class valedictorian and student body president. I am honored to be speaking to you at the South Shore Technicals Class of 2020's graduation. I would like to begin my speech by taking a moment of silence to honor all those who will be lost to COVID-19, as well as to honor all those on the front lines fighting the virus. I never thought this day was going to come. Then the world fall apart, and I truly thought this day was never going to come. It's the day we dreamed about when we sometimes wished it would get here sooner as the stress of homework, test scores, and social lives weighed too heavily on us. Today we end this journey that we all started together just four short years ago. It was 1,389 days ago that we walked through the doors of South Shore Vote Tech on our very first day of high school. We were all brand new to each other, to the school, and to ourselves as we started the journey to find out who would we become. We sat in the boiling hot cafeteria together for the first time as a class before going off in our separate directions. We made new friends, attended our first high school dances, and slowly found our place in the school. Something we would do in Mr. Davis's history class and Mr. Savage's English class was debate over everything. This was the year of the presidential election, so we had countless topics to argue about. One day in history class, Mr. Davis stopped us mid-debate and said to us, it's amazing to watch you guys argue and then walk out of the classroom as friends. Despite your different beliefs and feelings, it really got me thinking. How do we all get along if half of us couldn't agree on anything? It was because we each brought forward different perspectives and ideas in regards to each topic. We made each other think and listen to each other's opinions, which made us want to gain more knowledge on so many different topics. No two humans process or experience life in the same way, and we have our own unique stories, passions, and opinions, and in freshman year, we learned how to express ourselves and grew from letting each other express themselves through their stories, passions, and opinions. Sophomore year was nothing like freshman year. We'd found our place, we had friends, and a shop where we belonged. It was the year that Liz snuck out in the middle of class to bring a frap into graphics to the back door. It was the year we got lost on our way to CMASK in the van with the crank windows and pulled down some side street to figure out how to get there, and the police showed up. It was the year when Becca and I used a lighter in chemistry for the first time, then proceeded to burn our sugar and set off the fire alarms. We held fire and made ice cream. We didn't sleep because the assignments just kept coming, and we got to represent the school for the first time in Skills USA. It was also the year that one of my shop teachers, Ms. D, left Votech to build another school's graphic communications program. This really upset everybody in graphics, but our other shop teacher, Ms. R, explained that in order for Ms. D to allow herself to continue to grow, she had to move on and expand her work elsewhere. As it turns out, it is in fact possible to stay at a job too long, in which case you stop learning and growing. You need to continue to step out of your comfort zone and explore new opportunities and experiences. We must continue to be curious about the new possibilities all around us and grow and learn from the opportunities ahead. Junior year, we went from underclassmen to upperclassmen. We went from being the youngest kids in shop to getting our own freshmen. We spent hours working on job skills and preparing for the mock interview with our administrators. Permits slowly turned into driver's licenses and the competition to get a parking spot on campus was on. Everyone had replaced sleep with iced coffees from Dunkin' Donuts. It felt like Skills USA had nev never had an ending from getting food poisoning at leadership to later on in states when we spent the entire social dance begging Ms. B to let us go to our rooms. We slowly started co-op and began working in our fields of industry, showcasing the skills we had learned over the past three years. It was during our junior year that we all slowly get it, started getting senioritis. In our anatomy and physiology class, Mr. Falana was already over our senioritis. Every week, whenever people hadn't completed his homework, he would say to us, you only get back what you put into something, and if you're not going to put anything into it, then you're not going to get anything out of it. When you don't do the homework and study, you don't learn as much, and when you don't practice, you don't do your best. Not putting in the work means you'll miss out on so many opportunities for growth. You won't get anywhere without putting in the hard work, because in life, the hardest things to achieve are usually the most rewarding and fulfilling. And then there was our senior year. We all thought that the worst thing to happen to us this year would be wearing ID lanyards in the hallway, but boy were we wrong. We were graduating in the middle of a global pandemic, and with that, we lost the best part of high school, the end of our senior year. And while we won't be going to a senior prom, we will have the tools and lessons on how to be successful from here. We are sitting here today because even though we may have wanted to give up when we went remote and when we lost things that were very important to us, 
because being here and getting to walk the stage was more important to us. We put in the hard work and persevered through everything, and we will continue to push back at whatever life throws at us and come out as successful as we were today. I congratulate every graduate here for doing the work, no matter how hard it was to get here, but we never truly did this alone. It is because of our academic shop and support teachers who taught and inspired us every day for four years that we are here today. I admire all of you for your passion of teaching and am grateful for your guidance along the way. It was our teachers who came to school early or stayed late to allow us to take a test. It was our teachers who reached out when the pandemic first began to make sure that we were okay and offered us the mental and emotional support we needed in order to be successful. Our teachers gave up days, nights, weekends, and even entire weeks to take us to countless conferences, competitions, and field trips. It is because of our teachers giving us the support, guidance, and knowledge that we have reached our full potential. So on behalf of the class of 2020, I say thank you for everything you've done for us. It isn't only our teachers who have gotten us here, but also our families or gardens who have given us their all in raising us over the past 18 years. My parents would ask me every day what I had learned or how my day was. They were always there to laugh at my jokes, to listen to me complain, or support me through every decision. My dad spent every day working hard while my mom has put everything into raising me and my sisters. They are everything I've ever wanted to be. So thank you not only to my family, but to all the families who have helped us through this crazy thing called life, because we wouldn't be here without you. I would also like to say a quick thank you to my friends and sisters who are always there for me, to Justin who has supported me through everything, and to all the extracurricular advisors who are one of the best parts of the school. This year may not have ended the way we thought it would, but we still made it. We are still in caps and gowns, receiving diplomas together as a class. And with that, I say thank you, class of 2020, for letting me be a part of your journey. But this is where our journey together ends, and each of our individual journeys begin. Thank you. At this time, we are going to start the diploma recession, not recession, sorry, procession. <laughs> sorry, um, it's hot in this gown. We're gonna call students up by shops, not all of them at once, we're gonna do it in groups. When we call your name as a shop, we ask that you show and go over to the concession stand where fries and chicken nuggets are. That was your favorite lunch in the cafeteria anyways, just follow it right on over there, okay? Please bring a mask with you when you go. They will set you up in alphabetical order. If you have your cards, that will be very helpful. That tells you what number you are in the shop. They will line you up over here. You'll pick your diploma up the t off the table. I will say your name at the bottom of the stairs. You will come up. They will put you on the big screen. You will walk across, down. We'll have Life Touch taking pictures of you with your, cat, with your gown and your diploma, and then you will make your way directly back to your car. Once again, we're going to have a little lull as we get started with the first shops. Restrooms are in the far right back corner. At this time, I ask that students in Allied Health, Automotive, and Culinary make their way to the staging area. Chairman Chris Amico, Representative from Rockland, Bob Mahoney, Representative from Hanover, Bob Haywood, Representative from Abington, Mr. Petrozelli, and Representative from Hanson, Mr. Salvucci. We thank them for their attendance today. Oh, Whitman, sorry. Uh-oh. 
I know. Uh oh. Two mistakes today. Go ahead. Bring them over. The graduating seniors, class of 2020, Allied Health. Alexandra Bartog, Bartog, sorry. <laughs> Darcy DeZuter. Wave to the crowd, wave to the camera. <laughs> Madison Dixon. Colleen Drynan. Congratulations. You're good, go ahead. <laughs> Kylie Flaherty Bowen. <laughs> Isabel King. Ryan Mahoney. <laughs> Crystal Martinez. Ashley O'Connell. Nice hat, Ashley. <laughs> Brittany Papacino. Rebecca Silva. Isabella Toll. And Fabia Vieira. At this time, I ask the students from the CIT and cosmetology shops to please report to the staging area. Once again, CIT and cosmetology report to the staging area. Now the graduating seniors from the class of 2020, Automotive. James Fife. Congratulations, Congratulations James. Nicholas Giordani. Christian Heredi, Heredi, Heredia McPherson. That's better. Isaiah Highland. Jared Jefferson. Nick Morrissey. <laughs> Aiden Murphy. Jack Reed.
Jared Starbird. Timothy Van Imbridge. Thank you. And Zachary Walker. At this time, the graduating seniors, class of 2020, culinary arts. Colleen Ambrose. Isaiah Caparata Francis. There you go, Isaiah. There you go. <laughs> Jessica Diaz. Jessina Diaz. <laughs> Devaney Grafton. Zachary Landerville. Sarah Lewis. Zoe Nugent. Jessica Ramondi. You can take your mask off, Jessica. Congratulations. There you go. <laughs> Leave it off. Uh-oh. Brianna Ruffin. Madison Safe. And Douglas Tarnovian. At this time, I ask Carpentry Collision Repair Technology and electrical students to make their way to the staging area. That's carpentry, collision repair technology, and electrical to make your way to the staging area. Thank you. <laughs> Graduating seniors of the class of 2020, computer information technology. <laughs> Diana Barzi. Randy Beckstrom. Randy. <laughs> Ryan Blake. <laughs> Justin Como. Jeremy Driscoll. <laughs> Eric Fredericks. <laughs> Eric, take your mask off. Give it one of them. 
Aiden Gardner. <laughs> nice hat. Jack Rico. Joseph Lanza. Evan Mutchler. Nicole Nagara Lima. Kelsey Shaw. Lucas Vickery. Zachary Vickery. Graduating seniors, class of 2020, cosmetology. Adrian Barry. <laughs> Kyla Coleman. Olivia Davis. <laughs> Haley Demling. <laughs> Kelby Drake. Samantha Elliott. <laughs> Maria Pentukin. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> She will be missed. <laughs> Kylie Pickering. <laughs> Allison Pike. <laughs> Alice Alveria. At this time, I ask students from the graphic communications and the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning programs to report to the staging area. Thank you. Yeah. Graduating seniors, class of 2020, carpentry. Alexandria Adams. Evan Beery. Joshua Coughlin. Justice Curran.
Christian Ellis. It is amazing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Ryan Fallon. Yeah! Mitchell Fisher. Keep going. <laughs> Don't stop. Taylor Goodrow. <laughs> Samantha Lance. Dante LaRusso. Ian McCollum. <laughs> Samuel Reardon. Kyle Thibault. And Eric Zuko. <laughs> Graduating seniors, class of 2020, collision repair technology. Tyler Keen. <laughs> Devin Murray. Matthew Poirier. <laughs> Graduating seniors, class of 2020, electrical. <laughs> Daniel Anderson. Ryan Ballum. Justin Dunn. Mackenzie Johnson. Dominic Kenny. <laughs> Nicholas Matarazzo. <laughs> Sean McGurk. Congratulations. <laughs> Jacob Moore. John Sandall. <laughs> Kyle Schlieff. Michael Shannon. Sean Sidoti. <laughs> Amy Smalley. <laughs> Hannah Toll. I love you too. 
<laughs> Brandon Trapino. John Varley. At this time, I ask the students from the MET Manufacturing Engineering Technology Program and Metal Fab Welding, Metal Fab and Welding Program, make their way to the staging area, please. MET and MFW to the staging area. Graduating seniors, class of 2020, graphic communications. Paige Connolly. Congratulations, Paige. Brandon Freiberg. He doesn't want to. Brandy Hagrove. Emily Ingram. <laughs> Your mother would kill you. <laughs> Kyle McDonald. <laughs> Selena Shaw. Jessica Silva. Matthew Simons. Elizabeth Troll. And Tyler Wooten. Graduating seniors, class of 2020, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Kobe Avila. Benjamin Billings. Joshua Carrigan. Nathan DiPietro. Devlin Donovan. Ryan Foley. Christian Gregor. The trouble with them being up front. <laughs> Anthony Hall. Vincent LaCorey. Congratulations, Vinny. Sean Lovell. <laughs> Brian McLean. <laughs> Jerome Overstreet. Straight across. Yeah, you you <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And Nicholas Raul. Thank you, Mr. Aubrey. 
<laughs> you do, Nick. <laughs> Graduating seniors, class of 2020, man manufacturing and engineering technology, Olivia Barry. Devin Benton. Cameron Rusino. <laughs> Don't go down the stairs, please. Thank you. Steven DePina. What's up, Steven? Ryan Haran. Colin McConkey. And William Riser. Graduating seniors, class of 2020, metal fabrication and welding. Robert Barry. Christian Burke. Jake Connors. Joseph Doton. Mm -hmm. Robert Fettig. <laughs> Owen Garante. Dana McGivney. Shane Muzzy. Paul Novicki. Matthew Peterson. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gavin Scanlon. <laughs> Taylor Sharp. <laughs> Noah Sinatra. Kyle Steck. Devin Sweeney. And Justin Trapino. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the class of 2020. If all the graduates could return to their cars, please.
All right, we have one last thing we need to do, so we need all students to return to their vehicles, please. We are not complete yet. There's one thing Mr. Hickey has to do to make it legal. Legal. Graduates, I'm going to read a statement that will conclude this ceremony. This is the part of the ceremony where you'll get to move your tassels, so I'm sure there's a parent or family member who wouldn't mind uh, recording this on their phone real close up, because this is what makes it legit. I think everyone is, looks like everyone's back to their vehicles. Graduates of the class of 2020, under the regulations set by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, I now consider you graduates of the South Shore Regional Vocational Technical High School in Hanover, Massachusetts, class of 2020. And that's all, folks. gentlemen, we are going to exit going forward and to our left. The parking attendants will help you to do that. We want to do this as quickly as possible. There's another event here this evening. So if you could make your way to your vehicles, please. Enjoy those afternoon celebrations. The rain will hold off. I talked to Mother Nature. We're good. Thank you, everybody.